Wall Street bets, which is really driving this, what they've done, that's a site of Reddit, what they've done is target large short positions. We have been given the scientific knowledge, the technical ability, and the materials to pursue the exploration of the universe. GameStop is 148% short. Three, two, one, zero, all engine running. I actually think uh, they're, they're smarter than They're after the ones that are too short now and say, I think GameStop is going to too big. We like the stock. We like the stock. We like the stock. So for today's video I thought I'd wear the t-shirt of a football team that's named after a soft drink and it's also sponsored by the soft drink and is considered one of the worst aspects of capitalism in football in Germany but also in other countries as well because I think it's quite relevant when we're talking about things like hedge funds which are basically these investment firms designed to keep really really wealthy people incredibly wealthy now, this is going to be the story that is still going on right now of a subreddit that had targeted one hedge fund and helped it lose billions because it was shorting stock in companies they thought were going to die like GameStop in America. Now, I'm not going to pretend I'm a financial expert. I'm not going to pretend I understand the New York Stock Exchange or just general stock exchanges around the world. I don't. The only formal education I have in economics is like one module in my master's where I learned about the, you know, the economics of the Middle East, but that was mainly about oil. So it has nothing to do with stuff like this. So I encourage people to correct me in the comments and point out where I am wrong. But for this video, because I don't know so much about it, I am going to be reading other people's descriptions of events. We're going to be looking at the Wall Street bets subreddit and see what's going on there and I've actually been lurking in it for a while and the only thing I'll say is that I don't endorse the language they're using they use you know slurs about disabled people and stuff like that because it's meant to be you know this edgy place so obviously I don't endorse that and I don't think any of the posts I'm going to be reading actually use that language just something to keep in mind but before we go any further edgier content on my channel is always demonetized so if you want to support me monetarily please check out my patreon thanks so much to everyone who has already done this at the moment the benefits are gaining access to the private discord server and you obviously have your name featured at the end of every video and in the description i'm working for some other benefits that will come in the future if you want to join our growing community please check out the discord and the subreddit in the description and if you want to follow me personally, check out at the Cavernacle on Instagram and Twitter. And also you slash Tommy Cahill 1995 for my personal Reddit. So with that out the way, let's get into the video. And before we go any further, I put a chocolate orange behind me for every 5k subs I get. We're currently on, I think, 23. So I need two more K to get to 25. So let's keep going for that milestone. But now getting into the video, like I said, I don't really want to explain it because of my limited knowledge and things like the stock market. But essentially what's been happening is one hedge fund called Melvin Capital has been investing its clients money in stocks like GameStop. And it's been shorting the stock because GameStop has been going on hard times the last couple of years. Many of you who play video games like me will start to be buying all your games on the digital storefronts, Nintendo one, the PlayStation one, the Xbox one. Seems like it's only going to get worse. And if I ever buy a physical edition, I might use a more independent retailer or I'm just going to use Amazon because they're reliable. So it's safe to say things like GameStop are going to die and what's happening at the moment isn't going to save them. But now let's get into the whole issue. So like I said, they're short in stock. And the best account of someone, you know, describing what's going on, I found was Nash across the eighth dimension. So he says that Reddit just killed at least one hedge fund, maybe more. This could end the practice of shorting stocks as we know it, which is essentially gambling and they hate it. So he says, in case you weren't aware, here's how this completely insane and perfectly legal financial practice works. 
you see a company in distress, like GameStop in this instance, you think their stock is going to go even lower, so you borrow shares of that company and sell them. Yes, you borrow, you can do that. You then set up a timed order to buy back that same amount of stock. You're betting the price of the stock will go lower, so when you buy it back cheap and return it to who you borrowed it from, you will have made a profit. If it sounds like a gamification of the economy, yep. However, if the price of the stock goes up higher than the price you sold your borrowed stock at, uh-oh, you're going to have to pay more to buy it back than you sold it for, and you have to buy it back because you borrowed the stock. So you're going to have to scramble to buy shares to cover your short, and when people realize you have to buy this particular stock, the price will shoot up as you become desperate to find someone to sell you enough shares to cover what you have borrowed. This is called a squeeze. It's going to be a huge momentary blip in GameStop stock price. And for context, it was $12 a share in October. And just going on to talk about hedge funds, he says hedge fund exists not to invest wealth in companies to expand and improve the economy, but to find loopholes and gimmicks to create wealth via financial trickery. And maybe a silver lining, he says if you were a regular old 9 to 5 GameStop employee and had shares in the company, you're lining up to have a nice nest egg. Now just to show you a graph of how much the stock has gone up, like that guy said, it was $12 in October. I think it was $25 near the start of the year. Now, this will be outdated probably by the time you watch this video, but currently, as of you know, 11.45 a.m. on January 27th, the stock is worth $353. If you were the hedge fund and you were shorting the stock at $25, you now owe over $300 per stock. So the people who have hedge funds are usually the most wealthy people, people like Donald Trump, loads of rich people, Democrat and Republican, so why are the subreddit Wall Street Bets focused on Melvin Capital? Now we're going to talk about the ideology driving them, but just some reporting from Institutional Investor. The effort to take down Melvin appears to have started late last year, and by mid-January, short sellers began noticing spikes in the price of GameStop. They suspected someone was covering. Well-known short sellers Jim Chanos and Andrew Leff were known to be short GameStop and had tweeted about the company, but it wasn't either one of these men who had earned the most ire of a popular Reddit forum, Wall Street Bets, whose description reads like 4chan found a Bloomberg terminal. These retail investors had taken aim at Melvin, a fund headed by Gabriel Plotkin, a former portfolio manager with Steve Cohen's SAC Capital. Cohen's successor firm, Point72, had more than $1 billion invested in Melvin's fund. According to the Wall Street Journal, about two months ago, a Reddit user called Stonks Flying Up posted a video with the title GME Squeeze and the Demise of Melvin Capital with trial scenes from the miniseries Chernobyl, superimposed of text asserting that Melvin Capital got too greedy, as well as an explanation of how a short squeeze could occur. The clip concluded with a photo of an explosion with the words Melvin Capital splashed across it. Reddit users were able to discover Melvin Capital's short against GameStop because it was expressed in listed put options. Unlike most short positions in the US, these bets must be disclosed in filings with the Securities and Exchange Commission. Melvin's most recent filing showed that it held 5.4 million putts on GameStop, valued at more than 55 million, an increase of 58% during the third quarter. Melvin also disclosed short bets via putts on more than a dozen other stock, and the prices of many of these have also been soaring. Let's go into the ideology of the group that are driving this little revolution. So on Wall Street Bets' page, you slash concierge wrote, we are tired of market manipulators and corrupted media. This is time to act. This is not about GameStop stock anymore. This is about setting terms straight. Retail does not want to be manipulated anymore. For decades, Wall Street was manipulating securities, getting away with it and blaming it on others. Through the media, bullshit target prices, naked short selling or other forms of manipulation mentioned here, Citadel and many other market manipulators got away with their dirty tactics to make shitload of money and screw people over. They finally got caught in their own game and tried everything to turn it around and it didn't work. The media didn't work. More aggressive selling didn't work. Now they're calling through some random crooks for regulations. Regulation for what? Exchange of ideas, our own due diligence, winning against you, you in your own game. Yeah, in most cases, your buddies in the SEC would gladly do so if you tell them to anyway. This time though, people finally came to the realization what you guys are doing over there. 
It was known by many since 2008, but people forgot quickly. And now is the time to remind them that you are no one else's friends, but your crooked buddies. I never thought I'd say this, but this community showed more leadership and guidance than any other media network, providing knowledge, research, answers. Many of you proven that you are better people than these guys with billions of dollars. You should be proud of yourselves and you are leading an unprecedented event in the history of finance. This is why you should still guide others and be an example. Of course, we are not an entity and we never will be. Just remember that you are part of something great, maybe something that will change the way the financial world operates in a smaller or larger way. Remember that there are sharks among us who got pissed at the dirty games as well. We are not alone. So one more in terms of the ideology stuff. Ben Affleck's wrote, this is personal for all of us. I've never seen anything like what's happening with the game stop stock before and I don't think I ever will see anything like this again. This is a big moment, a tug of war between tradition and the future. Hedge fund managers live in the past and they continue to look down upon the retail investors. They truly believe that we, the average retail investors, don't know anything about finances or the market and we're just gambling our money away. We don't know any better. We need hedge fund managers to tell us what to do to save us. This is the world they want to live in. This was the past. Remember that scene from The Sopranos where Tony's wife calls to buy 5,000 shares of Webonics after she was manipulated emotionally to do so? Institutions and hedge funds want us to be stuck in that world. They're scared of the future. They're scared because so much more information is available for free. There's no more fees for trading. We have large communities that discuss stocks and trading openly. So I don't necessarily agree with the stock market and public trading and everything. But think of that scene in Wolf of Wall Street when he's scamming that guy and just think of those old school stockbrokers in general where they'll advise you, they have the expert knowledge at this firm and then you will pay them a nice commission. And remember that scene with uh, Matthew McConaughey and uh, Leonardo DiCaprio and he's basically saying, keep them on the hook for as long as possible until they lose their money because you're always going to be making commission. So it's nice to see these people breaking the power dynamic where you don't need stockbrokers that work for these massive firms that are in bed with members of the government and institutions within the government or hedge funds that just, you know, manipulate stock and do all this stuff to make the most wealthy in society more money without actually doing anything or working for it. So as much as I don't like the stock market and the system of capitalism and everything, I do respect, you know, doing your own research and playing this game to screw over the rich rather than a hedge fund have these massive team of experts who are insanely good at maths, but just manipulating the stock market to make the richest people even richer. Now, just to get some reaction, which I think is quite funny, people are saying that because these people have shown what they can do, it's going to be regulated by the government pretty quickly. Justin Jackson saying, the speed in which Congress will probably pass legislation to prevent something like this GameSpot thing from happening again will show you the difference between immediate for Wall Street and immediate for people waiting on those $2,000 checks. I do agree with that as well. Ryan Grimm saying, when a vulture funds ran a multi-million dollar campaign to drive the economy of Argentina into the ground to profit off junk debt, immiserating an entire country, nobody on Wall Street called for regulation. When they did the same to Puerto Rico, these people were silent. And again, it just shows that these people don't care about gambling, manipulation, and all this short selling if it's rich people and their friends doing it, making money for them. As soon as it's a bunch of nobodies and your average Joe on Wall Street bets doing it and making money and making a big profit, suddenly it's a problem because they're targeting the billionaires. So Anna Kasparian saying, market manipulation by Federal Reserve pumping... So market manipulation by Federal Reserve pumping dollars into failing banks and corporations is okay. Remember when Donald Trump did this and it literally bumped the market for like a couple minutes and then went straight back down during the onset of the pandemic. But Reddit users rallying GameStop is wrong and must be regulated. The entire stock market is disconnected from reality. Funny how quickly the financial press cries for hedge funds. And we always knew the stock market was attached from reality in the sense that it's still chugging along fine despite most of the world being in a really, really bad recession. Now, I was on Wall Street Bets a couple of minutes ago, and there are some nice stories of people making a lot of money and using them to help themselves in you know situations that are pretty sad and everything. And this is so much better than Donald Trump making an extra million on whatever stock his hedge fund are you know using for him, and just hedge funds in general. I don't know if Donald Trump uses Melvin Capital, but um, on Wall Street Bets, Stan Bomb wrote, I can now write my mum a check and put my sister through Lyme's treatment. 
this has been a very rough year, but I'm so thankful for every one of you. And then you can see his stock going completely up there. Another one, Master of the Game, wrote, I want to thank you guys for saving my best friend's life. Monday afternoon, I took my best friend, an American bully, 2.5 year old dog to the vet because he wasn't put, putting any weight on his back leg. Turns out he needed knee surgery that costed four grand. I broke down because I didn't have that much, didn't qualify for the payment plan. And it was either the surgery or wait until his other knee blew and then put him to sleep. I put all the money I did have in GME around $97 a share and AMC, which is another one that has been shorted at $4 Tuesday morning, a little less than 1K with an exit plan to get out once I had enough money for his surgery. This morning after market opened, I was able to sell enough to pay for his surgery. I'm in tears. I'm really grateful. Thank you everyone and good luck. So that one story is kind of worth it in the sense that if these guys didn't do what they did, it would just be business as usual. It would be these hedge funds that are working for billionaires and millionaires, shorting stock and betting on dying companies and betting on the dying of you know things like the high street just to make their clients a lot more money. So you actually have some good coming of this. So they lost a ton of money and they're really hurt. And it's a tactic they've been using a lot, these short positions. But let's hope that these guys have crippled them in some way and hopefully their reputation has really, really suffered. So now for the future, I don't know what will happen because I've seen a lot of people on the news talking about regulating this sort of thing, but other people saying there's nothing illegal about people online discussing what shares to buy. And like Wall Street Bets was saying, it's not an entity. Not every single person here is doing it, but it is a coordinated movement. Now, because a lot of members of Congress and the Senate, I imagine either have large investments or play the stock market or use a hedge fund, I would say there probably will be a political movement to regulate this type of thing from amateur people on the stock market. Like some of those tweets were saying, it really wouldn't surprise me. But anyway, no matter what happens, I'm just happy some people could give Wall Street a bloody nose and could show these people they don't need them, even though it is kind of like a sick game, the stock market, and, you know, it is gambling, it's addictive for many people, many people lose it all. It is fun to, like I said, punch the nose of the establishment, give them a bloody nose, and hopefully, you know, they could end this sort of predatory practice of betting on a company dying and hoping that it dies, and basically hoping that thousands of people will lose their jobs so you can make loads of money on the short position. It's just really funny knowing these guys would have all these shorts, seeing the stock price go up and up and up and knowing how much they're going to owe people. So that is the power of Reddit. Let me know in the comments what you think of this. Please, I encourage any corrections. I encourage any more information on this stuff. And also, if you are big on this stuff, let me know what you think will happen in the future with everything. If you like my content, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, maybe subscribe. Again, we want to hit four chocolate oranges soon, so I want to hit that 25k. If you want to find me on social media, at the Cavernacle, Twitter and Instagram, check out my Patreon to support my work. Check out my subreddit and Discord to join the community. And if you made it this far, thank you for watching.